Holy Libra, welcome to your reading for October 2024. This is a general reading for you, Libra. It's a reading for Libra Sun, Rising and Moon Sign. Happy birthday to you, my lovely Libra. It is your birthday month. Some of you have already had your birthday. Some of you have yet to have your birthday. I wish you a very, very blessed and productive and happy birth year. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing, giving me a thumbs up. It all helps the algorithm and I appreciate your support. My lovely Libra, this your channeled message for this month. Let's just see what's coming through here for you. <clears throat> My lovely Libra, it is about things starting to fall into place. Knowing what you want to have happen, it's, it's as if things are setting in motion. You're coming into your stride. Your your where it was uncomfortable. This new position that you're finding yourself in, either you know within a relationship or with work or um, your environment, it's it was a little bit of disease, 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 not disease. Uh, and and discomfort, but it's as if you're finding your footing. You're working out what direction you want to go in, what you're satisfied with, what is is pleasing to you. I like I like that. It's about understanding that that all that's happened has brought you to this particular point, this beginning of your birth year. Things are going to start to stack up, I'm hearing, stack up, fall into place. Things are coming together for you. But it's also about you knowing what you're wanting, what direction you're wanting to take. What does your reality look like? How are you working? Where are you working? I want to say to you that it's as if you're, you're shutting out the clutter, you're shutting out the distractions. It's really about focusing in on what you want, not being influenced by external noise, external voices, external opinions, but rather standing up for what you believe is right for you. Don't be afraid to speak up this month. Possibly the whole, all your, your whole birth year. Speak up and define yourself. Because I feel like there's happy times coming up here for you, which is nice. Which is nice. Let me draw a card from the um, animal totem or the animal oracle deck. See what your totem is for this month. I will show you what cards come up to have fallen out there they are <clears throat> there they are so let's have a look at these two here what are they first of all you've got the armadillo let me put my glasses on because the print is so small groundedness yeah and the elephant is leadership and so this is really about you following your intuition. Look at the third eye, the, the, the vision, the fast-reaching vision, knowing where you want to be, knowing what your reality looks like. Taking that front, front leadership role in yourself, not in others, but rather for yourself. Being in charge of your reality, being in charge of what you're wanting. Don't be afraid to speak up. But there's also prosperity coming up around you as well. I feel like things are about to turn around here for you this month is the beginning. This month is the beginning of what is going to be a really good birth year for you. Things really falling into place. The other card you've got here is the armadillo and it's about being grounded. The armadillo is a very uh, tough tough shelled, tough exterior, um, not allowing others to influence your direction, what you're wanting to do, where you're wanting to uh, move to. It's also about strength. That shield is about strength. It's about having those feet planted on the ground. When the armadillo is threatened, what does it do? It rolls up into a ball. 
There's no, there's nothing affecting it. So don't allow others to affect it, affect you. Don't allow others to influence your thinking and your belief in where you're headed. You've also got a full blown sun in the in this in this card as well, which is prosperity, which is transparency. There is nothing hidden here. There, everything is there for you to. Um, oh, the sun is shining on you. That's positive. It's really, really positive. I really like that. So, you know, your your totem is is the elephant and is the armadillo. I like that. I'm going to draw a card now from my Mystical Shaman's Oracle deck and I will show you the card that I get as I get it. Let's see what... Um, what that has to say for you for the month of October for your birth month can I have a card please for Libra there we go here we go again you've got two cards they flew out oh you've got three cards three three so let's have a look at this you've got the vision quest here it is, the vision quest. This is the vision, having a vision, having a, knowing what direction you're wanting to take, knowing where you're wanting to move to, knowing what you want to bring into your life, having that vision. It all begins with understanding and having clarity in knowing what you are wanting, what, where you're not influenced by others' opinions, but rather what it is you're needing. What are your needs? What are your wants? What direction do you want to move in? What do you want to do? These are all things that are going to be coming very, very clear to you in the month of October. You've also got thunder. Now, to me, thunder and lightning thunder and lightning things happen you know that you, everything's quiet when the storm is brewing you just get that clap of thunder and you get that lightning it's fast it's fast it's loud you can't miss it these this is about being aware of synchronicities they're going to come they're going to come and they're going to pop in your reality there's going to be a lot of synchronicities a lot of uh, things that you're going to pick up on things that you're going to hear or read or see There's going to be a build up to it. That is that um, that that brewing, that understanding of what you're wanting, and then you're going to be shown. You're going to be shown like these claps of thunder um, as to what it is you're wanting. So the next card you have here is the arrow. Interesting, isn't it? So you've got this. You know the 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 vision quest of seeing the whole picture, seeing the big picture seeing the big picture being aware of the synchronicities once you have those goals set once you have those ideas set that there's going to be a bolt of of, of thunder coming out of the blue this opportunity which is an opportunity which is something that you you're not you you are going to notice you are going to notice and then you've got the arrow and it's about shooting true hit the bullseye Speak up for what you want. Go for it. Don't be afraid to, to do something differently. Take on a new opportunity. Doing something that requires a leap of faith because it will work. You've got the sun. There's tremendous positivity around you this month. I really like it. Really like it, my lovely Libra. So let me create the Celtic cross for you. And let's see, here we go, so let me just lay these out for you. Yes, there's a big turning point here for you. I'll show you what these cards are. Nearly there. Great. Okay, let's have a look. So what have we got here? First up, we've got the fool. So this is this is it. This is you taking that leap of faith, um, having that vision. And, you know, and I did say before I drew these cards, taking that leap of faith, this is what the fool does. There's a new start, a new beginning, new opportunities. It's different from the past. You're not bringing any things from the past. It's something new that's coming up here for you. And it's, it's having the courage to take that leap of faith, 
and do it. This is something that's going to come up very early in the month or maybe it started already in September for some of you. Absolutely, because there's tremendous success. But there's, this is also the card of celebration. Well, it is your birth, it is your birthday month, isn't it? So there is celebration, socialising, but this is also success in ventures, success in something that you're doing. I like this, celebrating something you've done well, accolades, accolades to, to something that you're, you've done, as well as celebrations, celebrations around you in the month of October. And of course there is, because then you've also got <clears throat> the four of so the six of swords. Six of Swords. This is transition. This is this is like the fool. This is this is moving from uh, crossing that threshold, beginning something new. There's new opportunities coming up here for you. For some of you, it's a new venture, a new business. Uh, who's getting married? There's a marriage or an engagement, or there's something that's that's changing the, your life the way you know it, in a good way, in a good way, with tremendous positivity. Be aware of opportunities that are coming your way. Really think about them. Some of you might think, oh, you know, I don't know. I don't know about this. You know, it's a big change. It's something new to adapt to, but it's well worth the effort. Whatever you're taking on, it's well worth the effort. Whatever new direction you're heading in, it is well worth the effort. I like that. I like this is about you know achievements you've achieved things you've achieved things that have made you emotionally happy you creative you, you know good happy about where you are however there's something new that's coming up here for you there's a new job or a new relationship or a, a, a commitment in a relationship the birth of a child um, whatever it is um, for, for a, it, it's also about identifying who you are and what you want to do, who you want to be, how you want to be seen, how you want to, what do you want to reflect back to others? Who are you? It's also about standing your ground, my lovely Libra. It's about standing your ground in what you're wanting, how you're wanting to proceed, what you're wanting to achieve. I like that. So you've got the t also the Ten of Pentacles, opportunities, an improvement, an increase in finances that's coming up here for you as well. But that increase in finances is going to be about crossing some sort of threshold, crossing some sort of um, boundary, some sort of glass ceiling, leaving, you know, moving, progressing from where you are to where you want to be. So it really is about, you know, for some of you, it's about peak. What, I'm, what am I getting here? They're showing me it's about peeking through. Let's just have a look through the doorway. Let's see what's going on in there. Let's have a look at, at, at what I see before I take that complete leap of faith, before I really step into this new way of being. But it's going to bring you a lot of joy. It's going to bring you a lot of satisfaction. I want to say to you that things are going to start to fall into place for you. Where there's been someone or something or a situation that's been holding you back, that is about to change for you. That is about to, um, you're about to be released from any um, binds that are there. It could be, it could be the hours of work where you work, you know, where there's a lot, you know, hours of travel to get to where you're working, working in some different way. Don't be afraid, what am I hearing here? Don't be afraid to present to your boss or your supervisor or whoever it is that you speak to. Don't be afraid to speak to them about how you're choosing to work. You might want to work from home for a few days. You might want to move into another office that's closer to home. Don't be afraid to speak and present your case to whoever it is that is around you. If there's, what am I getting? If there's someone that's been smothered, if you've been, no, if you've been feeling smothered by someone's energy or someone's control or someone's 
presence or someone's opinion, that's about to shift for you, which is really good. You've also got the Two of Cups. This is a card of uh, soulmates. Now, this can be soulmates in relationships. It can be soulmates as far as children. It can be soulmates as far as um, friendships, work, even if you buy who's buying a home, if you buy a home, there's a soul, soul, make a soul connection there, energetic connection there as well. So you will find what you're seeking, selling a house, whatever it is that's coming up for you. There is a kismet or a karmic connection here. If you're seeking a relationship, this is an opportunity for you to get out there and, and connect. You will know when you're meeting. It's as if you meet someone but you, your eyes connect from across the room. There's just this attraction, this connection. If it's friendships or work or some sort of study that you're going to be doing, something new that you're going to be starting, there's a karmic uh, connection here, an energetic connection that's coming up for you. You've also got the two of coins, the two of pentacles, you know, juggle, juggle, juggle. What are you juggling? There's situations that you're juggling so that, you know, life, life is never simple. Life is never simple, but it's about maintaining your balance, walking that tightrope, maintaining your balance and, and juggling. It could be juggling your personal life with your work life, juggling family with, with, um, with work, juggling um, two jobs, juggling a project that you have as well as work whatever it is there's a few things the few balls you've got in the air my lovely Librans and it's going to pay off it's well worth the effort to continue that to con while it might be you know it might take all the wit all your wits to keep that balance in in keeping all those balls in the air it's well worth the effort because the results that you get from that are going to be really good. I like it. I like it because you've also got the Empress. Wow, you've got the Empress. How, how nice is that? This is about fulfillment. This is about abundance. This is about success. This is about everything that you're desiring coming to fruition. There's about there's, there's, there is going to also be a windfall for, for, for you, my lovely Libra. And there's... there's um, recognition for something you do well it could be it can be it could be in the form of a monetary um, reward through your efforts so the more effort you put into something the more you're going to reap from it the more you're going to get from that situation the more growth the more fulfillment because the empress is also about self-fulfillment feeling good about where you are so it's not a barren, you're not moving to a barren sort of uh, situation. It, there's a lot of um, potential in the direction that you're taking. There's a tremendous amount of potential because you've also got the chariot. So this month really, my lovely Libra, is about you. It's about you driving this. It's not about being influenced by external forces. It's not about listening to other people's opinions. This is you driving this forward. This is you taking charge. This is you bringing the changes that you're wanting to bring about. It's about feeling the fear and doing it anyway. It's about having the courage to take that leap, having the courage to bring in something new, making those decisions, making those choices. That's not an easy one for Libra because you're constantly balancing out your options. Don't get too caught up and stuck in balancing out your options. Don't listen to other people's opinions because I feel like there are others around you that do have an opinion. They are trying to, oh, do it this way. I, I know better than, you know, you know what you need. And so it's about you doing what you need. You've also got the Ten of Wands. And this is about uh, reaching a point where there's, there's creativity coming up for you. Uh, and this can also be self-expression, expressing your true self. Creativity make, takes many, many, many forms. It's not just artistic. And it's about that journey of self-discovery has brought you to this. By the, by the end of October, you're going to know what direction you're taking, what's going to bring you joy, what is going to allow you to express who you are and, and what you're wanting to bring in around you. I like it. 
don't I like it? Let's draw a card from my Divine Abundance deck. Let's have a look at what that is all about. Remember, you've got the arrow. Shoot true. Shoot true. Have a clear... To, to be able to hit the bullseye, you have to have clear vision. And you also have to have balance, which is your trait, my lovely Libra. You're all about the scales and balance. There we go. What have we got? Uh, intuition. Intuition. So what do we have? Third eye. Each person's road to the inner is extraordinary and personal. How liberating to listen inside and sense moment to moment what's needed. You know what's needed. You know what you need to do. It's not about being influenced by others. Stay strong. Trust yourself and take that leap of faith. I love that, my lovely Libra. I wish you love, light and many blessings. Happy birthday for October. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, you can follow the link below to my website and book that reading from there. That will be specific to you.